All right, guys, what's up? Jesus damn. <laughs> Tell me <coughs> you're coming back <laughs> like that. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to Channel Six String Stanger. Thank you all for joining me. Hey, if you guys are interested in low budget guitars, not low budget, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, budget friendly guitars, pedals, whatever. Sometimes we get into some bigger stuff, but for the most part, budget friendly things. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure your notification bell is hit, by the way. You always want to be. Uh, connected with what I'm doing around here, because uh, things can get kind of crazy, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so we're checking out a, another Firefly guitar. Uh, this would be my second one on the channel. The other one was the purple Firefly FFLX. This one here is a Honey Burst. This is one of their newer models. This will run you about 239 and I do believe, let me double check, okay? Let me double check on this. I, I, you know, I want to be straight up. At the time of this video right now, uh, you can save 10% off of this. And I lied to you already. It's two, 219. Okay. This model here is 219. They do have other models. They have a red burst, uh, a smoky colored, and a spalted maple. But let's go ahead and just rip into this and uh, see what we got. Okay. So the, uh, uh, yeah, there it is. Thank you so much for that. Uh, so I'll see you guys here in just a second. Uh, give me a minute to open this up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This here's different. I don't, I can't remember if the other one was wrapped this way. I do want to note that this was double box, by the way. Uh, came from Amazon. It was in that big box that you could put a body in. <laughs> and then you had this. Um, this here, you had to slide out of the box. Like this. Uh, like this. Which makes it really easy. Not really. Not really. I'm lying. I'm lying on that. So I don't know if it's right side up, upside down, or what's happening here. There you, there you go. Okay. I'm going to probably say this is right side up because of the weight distribution, okay? But yes, it did come double boxed, so that's a good thing. Always a good thing to be double boxed. That way uh, you got the extra protection. And you can see they got this styrofoam molded casing. Uh, I do believe, just like the other one that I got, um, you remember the purple one that we did? Uh, if you don't remember that, I'll put a card up uh, somewhere. Put that card up so they can watch that video. You know? <laughs> Jesus. I'll be with you guys in about 40 minutes here, hopefully. Ah, there we go. There's that cut there. And, and there's that cut there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, one of the things that was kind of... <laughs> Uh, uh, ah, God! Yank the hair out of my leg, man. Okay, so one of the things that I uh, w that intrigued me about this, not only was it a honey burst, um, it has the zebra stripe pickup or zebra pickups in it. You know, it's kind of cool. There's your uh, adjustment tool and your uh, little guitar cable that you usually get with everything. It, go ahead and get this out. Oh man, I tell you, this is molded in here. It is. You can see how the guitar is molded inside this styrofoam. <clears throat> and I mean, it was really molded in there. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, look, you get a little sneaky peeky right there. This thing's gonna be cool. All right. Well, yeah, this thing just looked cool. It has that uh, kind of like slashes, uh, honey burst type of guitar, that type of burst on it. If you guys remember it. Man, okay, here we go. 
All right, so here's the Firefly Classic. Here we go. We'll go over some specs here in a minute. Just like the other one has the same type of headstock there. You got your, just your regular type tuners. <clears throat> now, if I remember right, the tuners on the other one was really good. They held in tune great. I don't want to get too crazy here because I won't be able to undo this. <laughs> I remember having a problem getting the other one un out of the bag because of all these points, right? Ah, okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, no, no, not yet, no, not yet, God, I ain't even got this ready to go, for crying out loud, okay, all right, all right, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. ready, here we go, guys, three, maybe, hang on, three, Two, one. Oh gosh! Okay, look at that. That is pretty. I do like this. I love the zebra stripe pickups with this type of burst. I don't know what it is. It just screams rock and roll to me. Uh, uh, maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm an old guy. You know, I. <laughs> I mean, I am in my fifties here. Well, early fifties. Really early 50s. I mean, you could almost call it 49, I guess. No. No, I am in 50. I'm 50. All right. Let's go over some quick specs real quick, all right? Quick quick specs real quick. That didn't make any sense. Change that. Okay, guys. So you got a mahogany body. Um, I would assume this is... It might be a print. It might not be. I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's done very well. You know, the... Kind of the book matching thing here going on. It may be a print. I don't know. It looks really nice, though. Um, got a maple neck. Okay. Uh, fretboard material. Give me one second on that, because I just seen it, and I can't remember. Uh, rosewood. Rosewood fretboard. That's what I thought. Uh, you got the rounded ball frets here. Really, really nice. There's no nothing there. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but they're done really well. Nice, nice fret work. The action is, like, right there, man. It's very low action. Nicely done. Um, let's see. Of course, you got your three-way toggle. And it, just like the other one, the toggle on here is just, they're really, really tight. You know, it, you don't have that fear, because there's some of them that are really loose. They just pop right back in. It's almost like you hit it there, and you're just waiting for it to pop back. Not these. That's a good solid switch right there. Got your, uh, I believe, two volumes and a tone here, just like on the other one. And these knobs turn very smooth. They're not loose. Very nice. Right down towards the body. You know, very good. Pickups look really good. They're intact very nicely. They look to be pretty even. So that's awesome. You do have a bone nut on this as well. That's what it states. And the nut is perfectly right to the end. You can't even tell where it transitions from the neck to the nut at all. All right, let's start things out here. Let's, uh, since we went over some of the specs here, let's get some weight out of this bad boy. I can't remember what the other one weighed, but uh, this here will tell us. We start out at zero on here, okay? Give it a second to calibrate, and boom, right there it is. We're looking at uh, pretty much almost 7.7. 7. 7.69, not too bad, not too bad of weight, that's nice, I like that, now let's get ready for the, uh, let's, can you put that thing up on the uh, top there for the uh, pickup stuff please, thank you, yeah, yeah, all right, we got her up on the screen somewhere, that's all I know, okay, so I am on the bridge pickup, let's see what we're pushing out for the bridge here, go ahead and touch that wire there, <whistles> holy crap, so almost a 15K right here in the bridge. That's cool. Let's go to the middle selection. See what we got. 7.43. And let's go to the neck. Okay, 14.7. So we got some uh, we got some pretty good uh, outputted uh, 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 bobbers here in this guitar. All right, guys, I forgot to mention, it is a 22 fret guitar. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the neck here, see where we're at. 
This thing is pretty well bone straight. See a tiny bit of daylight right in here, which that's fine, you know. You you need a little little relief in there, right? Right? I mean, come on. All right, guys, got my headphones on so I can hear what you're hearing. Uh, got her all tuned up, ready to go. Uh, I did have to raise the action slightly on the low end, low E side because uh, I had a little fret buzz going on. The neck's pretty well straight, so I knew it was an action issue because it was pretty much close enough to the strings to be buzzing. Um, but basically, you just take a thumb screw if you didn't know. You can turn it, and I turned it a couple times, I think, maybe three times total to get it up. Uh, you can also take a little screwdriver and go into a flat, the flathead screwdriver and go into the top here. But that's what these little thumb screws are for. Loosen the tension and raise it up. That's all I did. I tuned it up a couple times, stretched out the strings. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what uh, old Firefly has to offer. Here we go. Okay, all right, all right, yeah, 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 we gotta have this. This is pretty important stuff here, okay? All right, you gotta have this. If you don't, you just, it just, you, you just don't have it, but you gotta buy it, okay? I need some right now, so cut, cut, cut. Okay, we're all juiced up now, I'm ready to go. I love hitting the high part, or the uh, high squeals, you know, like a pig. You know, I shouldn't do that yet. Uh, that's another part of the video we'll mess around with. But uh, right now, <laughs> hey, got a question. Got a question. Who's ready for a day? <laughs> Ah, okay. All right, I'm gonna take a little more caffeine and uh, roll that ditty footage. That was fun, huh? I, I could, I could use a swig here. After that, that was fun. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Let's uh, let's touch the pickups with a little bit of uh, power chords or whatever. We'll go through the uh, three selections here. So we're gonna start out on the bridge. Here we go. And uh, I dropped my D. 
All right, so that was the bridge area. Here's the middle selection. And let's do the neck. Middle. And bridge. Not too bad, man. Um, so that's, uh, that's it on that test. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Before everybody gets upset, we're gonna do clean real quick, ready? Here we go, hear clean tone on a bridge. All right, let's go middle selection. All right, and now the neck. Back to the bridge. I just didn't want them to feel left out. All right, guys. Now it's it's time to uh, you know this is look 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 at all this. Look, I'm getting black all over my fingers and stuff here. Wow. <laughs> all right, guys. So now we're going to do the lead test. Uh, basically, all that is just simply me trying to play the best that I can, which will probably blow most of you away as usual. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, we'll start up here on the 12th string, just do a, you know, little ditty there, whatever, and, uh, and then I'll just switch back and forth, we're gonna start on the neck, on the bridge, on the bridge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have fun with your neck later, pal, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Alright, so here we go, uh, this is the bridge, here we go. You know what? I suck. Hang on. Do that again. <laughs> All right, middle selection. And the neck. Back to the bridge. You know, maybe when I play, take this E string off the guitar completely. Please, can we do that? Back to the middle. And neck. All right, there you go. Okay, guys, now we're going to test out these tuners. Finally, test out these tuners. See how good they are. That's what we want to get back to. We want it to sound just like that. When we're done, we're going to come up here and just whittly diddly. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I'm starting to sound like Ned Flanders. <laughs> Oakley dokely. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, so let's, uh, let's just test out these strings. I'm just going to try to bend them around and see if it holds tune. We're in there now. Let's go. Suck it. Leave on the bad player in the wall. Don't ever let me go on the bad player you'll ever see. <laughs> we ain't cutting. We ain't cutting nothing. We ain't cutting. Here we go. Ready? Holy shit. Uh, it seems to stay in tune pretty well. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. That'll do it for this video of the FFLX, right? Yes, FFLX guitar. All right. These pickups were pretty hot. Uh, you know, I like the bridge pickup. I, I don't think I'm going to switch it out. I mean, it looks like Seymour Duncan's, you know, from here. It really does look like Seymour Duncan pickups. Uh, sounded great. Um, right out of the box, the only issue that I had was just... 
the uh, you know the setup as far as string height goes. Um, on the low E side, it's just a little too close to the neck for me. Um, you know, because I like to hit harmonics and things like that. I had not a lot of string buzz, but like two or three frets. I had some string buzz on. Uh, I adjusted the you know height of the bridge here on that side, a couple of turns, and I was out of the woods of that. Had no issues. Um, quite great. Like I said, it stayed in tune pretty well. Uh, got it tuned up in no time. Just had to stretch out the strings. That's normal. Um, I, I think it's an awesome guitar, man. And uh, hopefully for 219. And there's a 10% off coupon down below. Okay, it's all down below in the description. Check it out, man. These are pretty awesome. They got some other colors too. You know, when you click on this, uh, check out some other colors. You may like the other colors. I don't know. I don't know what you like. I'm me. I like this. Okay, so am I. Get it. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Drop a like down below if you liked it. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. You guys all kick ass. Thank you so much for all your love, all your comments. Man, everything. You know, share this stuff out. Let's get to 10K by the end of the year. Let's see if we can do that, man. I, 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 I have a funny feeling we may, but I need your help, man. Please, please, please do it. Please, for the love of God, I just made it. Why do you cut me off? I mean, I'm trying to talk to these guys, and you just cut me off right there. That's it. I mean, like, when I go to talk about my Stanger merch shop, don't you forget to check out my... Okay, well, uh, all right, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, I guess, and uh, rock on. Don't forget, it's all about the music. Later. Love you. Bye.